Channel 11 news reporter Rich Pierce is in Lamont Furnace, where families saw nature's fury up close. It was a wild day along Connellsville Road. Right now I'm standing under a carport. The wind was so strong today, it lifted these giant stakes up out of the ground and sent this entire structure flying through the air before coming to rest right here. <laughs> Complete chaos. Laura Yager's day took an interesting turn late Wednesday morning. The fire department alerted one of our neighbors and told us to message him because the carport was headed towards our house. And is that your carport? No, it came from across the street behind the houses over there. Now it rests in her yard with no clear timetable for when it can be returned to its rightful owner. We tied it down as much as we could and we're hoping that it just doesn't go anywhere. Two houses away, more of the same. My neighbor called me while I was at work and told me uh, my front screen door was ripped off and my front door was wide open. <laughs> we had some high winds before, but nothing like this. Crazy. The high winds knocking down a power pole, taking the power with it. And not far away, GC Marshall Elementary School shut down for the day after a tree was blown onto an HVAC unit. Kids were taken to and later dismissed from Laurel Highlands High School. No one was hurt. Emergency officials tell us they took hundreds of wind-related calls in a two-hour span late this morning into early this afternoon. It was odd. So I was like, the Wizard of Oz. The power did come back on late this evening. It's also back on at the elementary school. Class is scheduled to be in session tomorrow. Reporting in Fayette County tonight, Rich Pierce, Channel 11 News.